Good morning, guys. It's Friday. I'm here for story or poem day. And guys, I've written a poem today to kind of describe to you, to kind of help you guys understand not only what God did for us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, but what he did to us, guys. A lot of times we don't understand that because we don't understand what happened in the garden. We don't understand blood sacrifices. We don't understand the seed that was planted in this. The reason, hi, Julie, how you doing? The reason that Christ died for us, we don't understand that Jesus Christ was literally our blood sacrifice. He was literally a seed planted in the ground of us (laughs) To, to grow in us. It's funny because I'm wearing today a shirt of the tree of life to grow in us, the tree of life that we might produce fruit, that he is the vine, we are the branches. We don't understand the allegory and the metaphor that God uses history as to explain to us the reality of his kingdom. We don't get it. And a lot of times when we dig down deep into these things in scripture, we just get confused because we're looking at them through a carnal perspective, through our minds. We're trying to understand them like we understand biology or we understand mathematics with a physical brain that is uh, corrupted by a carnal nature, okay? So sometimes when we reach outside that creatively, uh, like God is and where God comes from, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the physical, okay, guys? I am saying there's something wrong with the carnal nature because that's what God came to replace, the carnal nature with the spiritual nature. But sometimes when we reach outside of this perspective and we go from a creative perspective, it's easier to understand. And that is how God speaks to me, kind of from this reverse place where I listen to the Spirit and then I go to the Word and they confirm each other. Uh, And that's just the way He speaks to me. I'm not saying it's the right or the wrong way. For me, that's the way He speaks to me. So anyways, I wrote this poem. And hopefully it'll help you guys understand. It helps me understand when God talks to me like this. Uh, But hopefully it'll help you guys understand too, not only what God did for you, but what He did to you. So it is called Washed by the Water. Washed by the blood. All right, so here we go. Washed by the water, washed by the blood, one with the spirit and one by a flood, both by his goodness that all might be free, planted like seedlings by water as trees. (laughs) His good fruit to bear, atonement to give, the blood of his life in all his sons live and daughters, Judy and daughters. The blood of the lamb gives life and made peace. It shouts out the truth that all lies might cease. Man, when you receive this blood, it'll drown out the lies that you hear in your head if you let it. A new seed now planted in good ground we stand, uprooted and planted by God's holy hand. This is what happens to you. You're literally uprooted out of bad ground and you're placed in him, the good ground, right? By God's hand. We are the branches. His son is the vine. We carry his fruit, right? The fruit of the spirit and make his new wine. What? <laughs> The wine of his blood, the fruit of his life, now buried within him, his bride and his wife. (laughs) Our life is hidden in him. We are his bride and his wife. We bear his new children. What? That men might walk free. That life be eternal and blind eyes might see. Our treasure, his kingdom, his gift, our reward. His blood is our peace. His word is our sword. To cut down the lies and plant his new seed, we cultivate freedom and water his creed. That he is our life and in him we live. Where death is no longer, 
because he forgives. <laughs> washed by the water, washed by the blood, the love of the Father, a flower that buds. <laughs> Man, there is so much there that I don't even understand yet, but it's deep and it's good because it points to the goodness of God's atonement for us. The life in his blood that waters the seed that plants the creed of Christ in us that is the tree of life and removes the tree of the knowledge of good and evil through forgiveness and restoration. So I love you guys. Uh, if you didn't watch it from the beginning, go back and watch it. I hope that speaks to your spirit. I hope that speaks to your heart because many of us struggle and we just, we keep going around in circles and we think that we uh, need forgiveness again. Now, I'm not saying that we don't come to Christ and we don't ask for forgiveness when we walk by a different seed than the seed that is Christ. When we eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil instead of the tree of life. But what I'm in saying is that what Christ did for you is once and for all. He not only, not only did he do it once and for all, uh, but he's not going to do it again because there's no need for him to do it again. Forgiveness comes when we accept that seed and we continually choose to bear fruit out of that tree. A good tree can't bear bad fruit, right? That's what the Bible says. And you have been uprooted from bad soil, from pain, from, from, from hurt from things that have happened to you and things that you've done you've been uprooted from that place that carnal place and you've been planted in christ so you can live out of the good tree that is jesus christ himself you're literally inside of him you are now good soil because he is good soil you're a good tree because he's good tree and you bear good fruit because he bears good fruit fruit. Anything else is a lie. Anything else leads to destruction. Anything else leads to death. And the truth is life. And the truth is eternal. And the truth is good. And the truth is love. <laughs> oh, God. It's so easy, man. But we get so down. We get so twisted, man. Me too. Me too, because this world is literally walking out and living out. Hi, Steve. I'm going to call you today, brother. Thank you for popping on and reminding me. Because this world is literally walking out and living and creating a reality, a reality that is a lie that's contrary to the truth of God. And so we must choose every day to walk in the goodness of the life that he has given us in him, uprooted as trees planted, stood up, <laughs> uprooted out of evil, right? And stood up and planted in the truth and the goodness of the pure ground of what Jesus Christ paid for, for us, bearing his fruit. So I could go on forever, but anyways, I hope that poem uh, did a better job explaining it than I did. So I love you guys. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great weekend. And, and no, listen, man, in Christ, you can do nothing but good. You can bear nothing but good fruit. So go and be good in Jesus' name. Jesus says, be perfect. <laughs> Man, there ain't no way to be perfect. Hey, Margaret, how you doing? There ain't no way to be perfect but in Christ. In Christ. And that is where your life is hidden. So anyways, let me pray for you real quick. If you didn't see it from the beginning, just go back and watch it. It's pretty short today, which is a good thing. Let me pray for you. So Father, I thank you for each and every person watching this today. I know that there is pain. I know that there is hurt. I know that there is uh, uh, even sin in, in, in their realities. But Father, I pray that they reject all that right now and fall at the feet of your sacrifice and your goodness and the truth of your word that you love them that you care for them that you created them a new creation and that there is no condemnation for those that are in you for those that proclaim jesus christ as the son of god that believe in his goodness and his sacrifice for them that believe that they've been renewed as a new seed as a new creation that they will walk free of everything that entangles them in the freedom that you paid for in the goodness that you paid 
paid for and the eternal life that you've given in Jesus name. Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. There's nothing we can do to ever pay you back or to even express how grateful we are. We haven't even fathomed the greatness of what you've done for us because it was literally uh, 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 it would literally kill us on this earth. We would literally instantly be with you if we really understood in our physical bodies what you did for us. So thank you for it. Thank you for doing what you did. And thank you for allowing us to walk out your goodness for others that all might be fulfilled when we come face to face with you. And in an instant, we understand literally the depth and the goodness of your love. Man, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful moment that will be for each and every one of us watching. I command all fear, all confusion, all pain, all issues, all depression, all sickness to go for each and every person watching this now and each and every person watching this later. In Jesus' name, so be it. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.